peace and blessings what's good with everybody i'm back with another video sorry guys god's timing is perfect what do i mean by this i mean that you will be put through stuff in life you will be tested god will allow you to be tested and if you pass these tests if you just keep your faith in god keep your faith in christ and you never give up faith i'm telling you guys the blessings in store are real because God never allows pain without purpose. I posted something like that on my community tab the other day. And it is facts, guys. God will not allow you to go through certain things in life without a purpose in the end. And I really know this because all the pain I've went through, all the trials and tribulations that I've been through in my life, due to addiction, you know, strongholds, stuff that really kept me down at a low place that I almost didn't make it out of even alive. I mean, come on, man. I know that there was a purpose to all this now more than ever and it's being revealed to me more and more each and every day so you got to just remember to yourself guys whatever situation you're in whether you're at a job that you think is dead end whether you're stuck in these strongholds whether that you know you keep praying for deliverance but you might not be seeing any results just know that god doesn't allow pain without purpose you will see the light at the end of the tunnel best believe come on man just keep faith in God. Keep faith in where he has placed you and where he is bringing you. And yes, God doesn't tempt us. God doesn't put these awful scenarios in our life, but he allows certain stuff to happen because God will only give his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers, knowing that they will come out a lion. They will come out a real tough individual. Now, come on, man. I'm speaking facts. God's timing is perfect because God's timing has been perfect in my life. Don't think that I just came up here on YouTube and started talking about Christ and that's just my life. Don't think that this is all there is to it, that I'm just living good and I've always been living good. Yes, I'm living good, but best believe there was a time in my life where I was in the kingdom of darkness. I was a general in the kingdom of darkness. Best believe that I went through it. Like I get people saying, oh, you got pureness in your eyes. You look pure. Yes, but this is not how I always look, guys. Best believe. I went through some stuff that I'm lucky to have made it out, all by the glory of God. That is why my eyes look pure. That is why I'm living purely now. And it doesn't mean I'm living free from sin. I'm just saved by Christ. So it is just easier to fight off temptation. It is easier to rebuke Satan. I still got to repent every day because we sin every day. But I'm living more of a pure lifestyle than I was before. So I'm telling you guys, I went through it before I saw that God's timing all led up to this. Before that, I saw that God had a bigger purpose for me. And what I was living before. So I'm telling you guys, whatever that dead end job might be or whatever situation you might be in, just keep telling yourself that if you don't give up in due time, you will reap the fruits of your labor. Come on, man. It says in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, and let us not be wary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So, facts, guys, if we don't give up, we will reap the fruits of our labor. We will reap life everlasting, especially when we sow to the Spirit. But Guys, come on, we got to be patient. We cannot just expect stuff to just change like that in our lives. Because I know my change wasn't immediate. My change was gradual and very slow, but it happened. The most important thing is that my change happened. And when I accepted Christ, that's when everything changed in my life. Faith in Christ really changes a man's life. Or a woman's life, if you're a female watching this. Come on, man. It will change your life. In ways that you can't imagine, you will just start to see the light at the end of the tunnel at one point. Because that's what happens when you accept Christ. You begin to become a more joyful person, enjoying life, enjoying what God has gave to you. Being grateful for the moment, being grateful for waking up every day. I mean, that is powerful because we can't just have this negative mindset of waking up and saying, Oh, I got this dead-end job. I don't want to go to work anymore. I don't want to be around these people anymore, these negative spirits. I mean, I know it gets hard sometimes, guys, but we cannot give up, guys. We got to draw near to God. He will draw near to us. And if you haven't asked for your purpose, like I always say, guys, ask and it is given. Seek and you shall find. When you ask God to reveal your purpose, this is what happens, okay? He will reveal it to you. But in due time, guys, God's timing is perfect. I don't remember when I asked for him to reveal my purpose, but he did. And now I'm leading people to Christ. And I know that's my purpose now because... I feel on fire for Christ. I feel like I must apply the wisdom and knowledge of the Bible into my heart to spread the truth, to bring people closer to Christ. I know that this is what I have to do. 
And God's timing is perfect. Who knows what's ahead on my path? Who knows what else I got to do, right? To strengthen God's kingdom, to strengthen God's arsenal. Who knows what I got to do? Because I used to be a general from the kingdom of darkness. I keep telling you guys. And what I would do for the kingdom of darkness was just evil. It was wicked. So like I keep saying, God knew I was powerful. So, And Satan knew even more that I was powerful. So Satan was trying to keep me in. But best believe Satan was probably big mad when I got out of there. He was probably big mad that I changed to God's kingdom. That I'm now working for the light. That I'm a warrior of Christ. He is probably mad. And that is why also, guys, when you draw near to God and you try to, you know, change your life around, become a repentful person, repent of your sins, you know, you accept Christ. That is why Satan's going to start attacking you even harder at times. Yes, best believe. And like I said, guys, there's always a time for something in your life. There's always a time for you to go through something because you're going to learn something from it. I've said this before. You're going to learn something from that dead end job that you call that so-called dead end job. You're probably learning something that you will need to apply further in your life. You might not see it now, but you're probably learning to deal with your patience. You're probably learning to increase your patience. Because for me, that's something that's big in these dead-end jobs that I've been working, right? These so-called dead-end jobs. I've been learning how to have patience, how to deal with certain individuals, certain spirits within people. How to not get mad so easily. How to, you know, retain that anger, save that energy, preserve it. I've been learning stuff. I'm telling you guys, nothing happens for nothing. And in Ecclesiastics chapter 3 verse 1, it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Facts. There's a season for everything and there's a time for everything. I'm telling you guys. To get to your purpose, to find your purpose, it's not going to be easy. It's not easy for everybody. Like It might be easier for some, but you might just go through it. Because trials and tribulations are part of every person's testimony. I can guarantee you that before finding God, before finding Christ in their life. I can guarantee you that before someone found God, before someone drew near to God and accepted Christ in their life, they definitely went through something. Or they had an event that, you know, it was challenging. It was a period of trials and tribulations. I keep saying this. Come on, man. And what I'm saying is facts, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're new. Because I'm trying to bring you guys closer to Christ. I'm trying to tell you guys that you cannot neglect where you're going through. Like I said in Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything. And there's a season for everything under the sun. So just remember that next time you're going to work and you think you're at a dead-end job. You think that this is bringing you nothing to your life. Just keep faith, guys, and stay strong. And never give up. Never give up on striving towards becoming a better person for the kingdom of God. And to find your purpose. Because that's what your goal should be, to find your purpose. And if not, if you've already found your purpose, you should be striving to fulfill your purpose. Make goals upon that, right? That should be a priority. Come on, man. So I hope everybody has a blessed and amazing day. I hope this message got through to somebody. Because God's timing is perfect. Never doubt that. He will never allow pain without purpose. Much love to everybody. I'm grateful for every single one of you. I hope you guys have a blessed and amazing day. Matt, it's your boy and I'm out.